Hello there. We're going to demonstrate today a simple application using the Red Lion G304 Cadet HMI out to a banner gateway which has a couple of analog sensors connected to it. T30 which are ultrasonics. We're going to have two tanks. Tank 1 and Tank 2. We have two sensors that are connected to this uh, gateway here as well and the goal of this application is to measure the level of the tanks and set some set points within the zone as the tank level drops we will turn on a pump which happens to be out in the country and the pump will be this application right here and a wireless node here we're going to use this LED here to simulate the relay which would then fire the pump there would be a tank here that is connected to this ultrasonic that is giving us tank measurements but inside the plant we're going to need to call to turn on the pump so this application we've got some screenshots here using crimson 3 this is the main screenshot here when I click this particular button here I can select between tank 1 running the program manual operation or tank 2 if I click on tank 1 which is the red tank here that'll take me to this settings page right here in which case I can set the high set point as a percentage of 0 to 100 percent of the tank and I can also set the low percentage meaning that as the tank value drops below this set point I would then turn on the valve the pump will turn on out there at the remote location this should fill up and then when it gets to the top here it shuts off when it's high we do the same thing for, uh, if we go back to the main, if we were to click on number two here, we would go to settings for tank number two, do the exact same thing there as well. So let's go through this example here. We've got a real uh, G304 cadet right here. And let's say for this example that we'd like to run tank number one. So if I click this button here, I hit this here and tell it I want to look at tank, or I want to run the control of tank number one, click OK reminds the operator to make sure that tank number one valve is open and tank number two valve is closed. That is referring to these two valves here. We do not have any feedback from these valves so when the outside pump comes on, this is the pump, it's either going to pump it this way or it's going to pump it that way. The operator must make sure those valves are in the right condition, the right uh, position. If we click here, it takes us to tank settings number one. As you can see on this particular screen, that, hold on, my sensor is not lined up correctly here. Oh, and you know the problem here is I've got this guy too close. Let me move that out of the way for right now. You go sit over there. And you focus like that. Okay. So over here, let's say we want to change our set point, And we want our set point here to maybe come on at, say, 80%. So if we change this to 80, go okay, you'll see the line comes down. Right now, we're currently measuring 62%. The pump is not on right now. If we go back to the main, you'll notice the piping. Nothing's on here. If we go back to here, if I take this little box here, which I have as my level, if you see me move it up, you'll see that the pump level goes up, obviously. But if I move it down below the 35 percentile, where the low set point is, the pump should go on. There it is. You see how it says pump status on? So that means that out here in the remote node the green LED is on which is the relay which would fire the pump out here at the node out here. Back here at our pump at our particular screen we would of course expect this thing to start filling up here so as it fills up you'll see the level rise however if I go back to the main here notice the piping is green the pump is in the on position and it's going through this way Again, we don't have feedback from these valves, so we're trying to show the operator this is where the this tank should be filling up. So now, if I come back to here, as I move this guy up, once I exceed the 80 percentile percentage, the pump should go off. Right there. Pump status is now off. If I go back to the main, you see it's not on here. And if I go over here to my pump, you can see that the current LED is off which is be the relay we can do the exact same thing with the second pump here 
Let's say I want to run the control on this location, um, tank number two inside. So I go here, click it from there to manual mode to tank number two, click OK, click OK here. And let me go set up my sensor here. So I'm going to get this one out of the way because he's not in the zone. And we'll put this guy on our little setup, mock up setup here. That's our 100% line. That guy will sit like that. You can see I've got some pre predefined zones here. So once I get on this one, if I go click on number two, and again, let's say I want to set my low point, uh, the high point to say 75%. You see the line marks, moves. And let's say here I want this to, I don't want to ever get lower than 40%. So again, come back to here. You see right now nothing is on here at this stage. So if I just take my box here, just like in the previous example, start to move it down, you'll see the screenshot moves as I go down here. Once I go below the 40 percentile, the pump should go on. There it is. Pump status says on. So at this point, the pump would be filling up like so. As I move it up there, I go back to the main here. You can now see, take note of the plumbing. The green is here. It goes up to here, but this valve is supposed to be closed. This is supposed to be open now. Again, we don't have any feedback. The operator must have it in that condition. And if I go over to here, to the outside tank, you see that the relay is on out there. Okay, exactly what we want to have happen. And as this guy fills up, like so, you'll see the screen shuts off. You also notice, folks, I put some little uh, displays in here to show us what's happening. So if I was to take the tank, go down again, I don't see the percentage because, again, this is just a 4-inch screen, so we're kind of limited on real estate. But as I go down, eventually I'm going to probably drop. There I go below the 35 percentile, and you can see as I come up. it shuffs off. Let's say I want to run this in manual mode here. If I want to run it in manual mode, um, I click right here, turn this to manual mode right here, right in the center. There's manual mode. Notice it says, hey, manual mode has been chosen. Check the valve positions to do whatever you're trying to do. So make sure that's a caution node there. Okay. Now if I want to run it in manual mode, I can just click right here. I can authorize it to enable it to say, yep, I want to do this. Commit it. Boom. I'm off to the races. You notice the pump fills into here. I don't know which valve it's going to because it's not being controlled by the program, but the pump is on now, as you can see out here in the field. And I'm filling up whatever tank they happen to have the internal valves set to. So that's that regard. This tank here is the one that's outside. If I click on it, you can see the valve giving status here. I'm also giving you a status of what the pump should be out there. You see the 33 percentile there. If I go over here to this uh, ultrasonic sensor here and just change it to point it way out in the distance, we should get some different values here. Yep. As you can see, it's kind of jumping around because I'm going to the corner of the, the garage here. So anyway, it kind of gives you some statistics or some view there. If I go back to the main page, you can see the status here. Uh, I can turn this off from here by saying enable, turn it off, boom. And a back to normal control. I want to run this in the tank one position. It's on because I don't have the sensor up there right now. If I go to manual and go back to tank two here, I should now be running the tank two logic. So if I shrink it down, eventually when it drops below the 35 percentile, it comes on. And as I come back up, it turns off. So there is the demonstration of the tank farm.